Blender is an open source 3D toolkit that enables 3D artists to make visually compelling art. In this application, I can see ideas turn into reality by taking a concept from basic geometry and carrying it all the way through the lighting and rendering stages with the built-in cycles renderer. Using an NVIDIA RTX Studio laptop, artists can do production quality work on the go. Let me show you how this laptop can change the way that you can work by exploring key 3D look development concepts with Junk Broom, a free scene that you can download directly from the Blender website. Rendering with the CPU alone can really slow down creativity. Waiting for changes to materialize means artists have to make compromises to get their work done efficiently. That is why render engines like Cycles are embracing GPU rendering. Cycles now takes advantage of dedicated ray tracing hardware on NVIDIA RTX GPUs. These RT cores bolster rendering speeds, eliminating waiting time and freeing artists to design more. Additionally, interactive NVIDIA Optics AI denoising will be available in Cycles. This AI is a trained network that infers the gaps between calculated rays to clean up noise on the fly with denoising in the viewport. With the RTX GPU providing a faster and higher quality interactive experience, I'm freed up to take more artistic decisions. For example, the main character feels a little bit out of place, so we're going to change the blue plastic colander on her head to a metal. Additionally, her orange hair gets lost in the background, so we can edit this material so that it pops out more. Now the character feels like she belongs in her junk shop. However, she seems to get lost in the environment. We can interactively move lights to help her stand out. First, I like to turn off some of the lights so that I can focus on highlighting the character. I can easily move a spotlight so that it brightens her face. Since the environment is blue, making the spotlight orange should really help her stand out. Next, to pull the character from the background, I can add a few warm rim lights to highlight her arm. With the GPU doing all of the work to render the entire environment and clean up the noise, I can quickly tell that lighting is going in the right direction, but the rest of our scene feels a little flat. To augment this, we can add more lights to the scene. First, we can highlight the cat robot on the right with a bright, warm spotlight. Additionally, we can make the robot on the left stand out more by placing a cool backlight that creates a rim highlight over its backside. With all these changes in place, our characters have more depth. We can pull the entire composition together by adding depth of feel to the scene. Optics denoising is a huge help here. As you can see, it quickly clears up noise for me so that I can immediately tell if I'm focusing on the right object and make proper adjustments to the depth to get things looking just right. Finally, we can add a few more lights to lighten the entire scene and tie all of the elements together. If I was doing this all on my CPU, I'd be stuck waiting for each change. When it is easier for us to see the changes that we are making, we can do more to tell the story in our designs. For 3D artists, it's important to feel empowered by the tools and the hardware that we use. That is why GPU rendering is here to stay, and with an NVIDIA RTX card powering your workflow in an RTX Studio laptop, you'll get to spend more time doing what you do best, in the office or on the go.